Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I am Alicia and this is your weekly source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. And today we're going to be talking about arthritis. I am inspired to do this post after I had a new client fly to come get worked on by me from the East Coast and she wanted my opinion because she's been going to her doctors and they've kind of been suggesting things like cortisone shots and long-term physical therapy with little hope of relief and she wanted to get my opinion to see if it was possible to reverse what was going on. And she had arthritis in her left shoulder as well as her elbow and she would, um, well both those things would hurt her, but if she would go through a range of motion, something like this or even trying to pick anything up, she would get shooting pain down her shoulder um, from the shoulder to the elbow and then from the elbow to the wrist. So she had arthritis and um, after doing those three se sessions with her while she was here, I really wanted to um, give her and you all a different perspective on arthritis than is currently out there. So before I continue, I need to say that I am not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not trying to diagnose or cure anybody. Um, these are my opinions only, and um, you out there should consult your doctor before maybe attempting anything I suggest. So what is arthritis? Well, it's inflammation of a joint, and most of the time there is pain present. Aching, dull pain, sharp shooting pain, as in the case of my client who flew out here, shooting pain from one joint to another. Um, and what causes inflammation of a joint? In my opinion, it is a lack of blood flow. So everything in our bodies needs blood to stay healthy. And that goes for joints, muscles, um, organs, soft tissue, uh, our bones, everything needs blood. If anything were to get cut off from that blood supply, it would atrophy and die. So it's my opinion that arthritis is actually that joint atrophying and dying because it's not getting the food that it needs in the form of blood flow. So what causes a lack of blood flow? Well, my opinion, that is tight or restricted fascia in your soft tissue. So when that fascial system gets super tight, you're going to get the itises. Tendonitis, arthritis, osteoarthritis, uh, bursitis, <laughs> um, basically inflamed tissues or plantar fasciitis, right? Inflamed tissues that um, are irritated because they're either getting pulled on or not getting the nutrients they need in the form of blood to stay healthy. So what causes tight fascia? Well, we all have tight fascia to a certain degree. I've worked on maybe one person in eight years who didn't need the work that I do. Um, but in the case of arthritis, uh, whatever limb or joint, whatever joint is affected, the fascia in that limb and adjacent limbs is probably overly tight, maybe compared to the rest of your, uh, of your body. Now most people have arthritis in their hands. That's the majority of people who have arthritis. Sometimes it can occur in knees or feet, stuff like that. But um, so what causes arthritis or tight fascia in the hands specifically? Well. It's my opinion, um, I haven't done any studies on this, but the few people that I have worked with, it's my opinion that those people are doing something with their hands that's repetitive um, and putting their arms and their hands in a single position and then moving or using their hands. Um, so that can be things like typing, uh, knitting, <laughs> sewing, whittling wood, <laughs> playing guitar, so musicians are um, probably prone to that. Um, basically, and jiu-jitsu fighters, anybody who uses their hands um, kind of in an isolated position like that over and over and over and over. Okay, so I have worked with a lot of people who have been told they have pre-arthritis, right, where they start to get the aching in their hands and the doctors tell them, well, you are prone to arthritis, this is, you know, the pre-arthritis stage. And in every single case of working with those people, we have completely eliminated their pain. So the aching was gone, the pain was gone, the inflammation, gone. I have not worked with people long-term who have full-blown arthritis. I would love to. I would really love to see what's possible with that. So um, <clears throat> this client flying to me was an exciting case for me to see what could happen um, in a few sessions. And uh, basically, um, what we were able to do was in the first two sessions, so we had three over the course of about five days, in the first two sessions, um, she got significant relief um, during the session and for a couple hours after, and then the pain came back. <laughs> but um, in my opinion, that was actually like really good news. I didn't know what would happen with her. 
Um, the fact that we can get her relief for even a couple hours, to me, suggests that whatever is going on in here was not permanent, right? So if we can get that fascial system opened up and blood flow to those joints, she's going to be in less pain. Um, so while I completely 100% believe that arthritis is preventable based on working with people with pre-arthritis, I also believe that arthritis is possibly reversible. Now that totally depends on the case, um, how long it's been going on in somebody's body, uh, age, um, other factors, the person's commitment to the process of reversal. There's a lot that will go into it, but I do believe it's possible. So in the case of the client who flew here to get worked on maybe, in the third section, something really interesting happened. Um, during the first two, basically we worked up her arms to her neck and shoulders. And you know, so it would open up something in the forearms here or here, and she would kind of, I would have her move her arm around and see what happened, and she would feel relief, but in the process of moving her arm around, she would get that shooting pain, usually somewhere above where we were working. So we kind of had to chase the pain up, and then she got the most relief once we were done, and that lasted a few hours. In the third session, not only did her fascia feel, to me and her, a lot healthier, but, with every single technique that we did moving up the arm, she no longer was getting those shooting pains. So that didn't happen one time in the third session. So that was really encouraging to me um, that we can get her relief through fascial release. All right, so I'm gonna pause on the story and talking about arthritis and um, come back to a topic that I feel is equally important as what is going on with arthritis, and that is the medication that is typically prescribed for it. Um, any, there are a lot out there, but any, um, prescription drugs for arthritis are going to have an anti-inflammatory component and if you look up the possible side effects of those drugs they're quite scary in my opinion so I will never <laughs> let anyone give me an oral steroid or a cortisone shot personally for anything um, and that includes arthritis now I'm not telling you not to do it <laughs> again this is my opinion but this is something I would encourage everybody to think about if they have arthritis and or anything um, inflammation wise. So that goes for any of the itises. And that is your body is inflamed. That area it has inflammation for a reason. It's irritated. Um, something's not right. That pain that you feel is your body trying to get your attention that something is wrong. So any attempts to silence that, um, that aching or that inflammatory process in the joint if you have not taken care of the thing that is causing the inflammation to begin with. is pretty much like telling a kid who's getting beaten by a bunch of bullies to shut the heck up because you're sick of his screaming. <laughs> but if the bullies are still beating him up, that's not really fair, is it? So um, that's just kind of the way that I look at a lot of these medications that t typically tend to treat the symptoms but not address the cause. So with anything, any pain in the body, you need to look for the cause and reverse that and usually that pain that signal to your brain of pain and inflammation will go away so to prevent arthritis and or to reverse pre-arthritis symptoms of like aching hands and inky joints whatever you're going to need to open up your entire fascial system and get that blood flowing to your joints and like i said before i absolutely believe that arthritis is preventable and that pre-arthritis, in my experience, I've been able to eliminate it. So those two things should give you a lot of hope to go out there and release your fascia and get out of pain. For all of you who have arthritis, this is a very individual um, thing. You know, there can be a lot of factors that go into it. The fascial system is one of them. Getting that blood to the joint is priority number one. But there are other factors that can be involved, like your diet. <laughs> Um, the quality of the blood that's getting to that joint can play a role. Um, if you have inflammation in your body due to diet, poor diet, um, drinking soda, stuff like that, if you're acidic, it can make the arthritis worse, I think, in my opinion, or speed up the, de the, the degeneration <laughs> that happens in the joints. Um, so those might be things you want to consider if you're really committed to this process of reversal. There are also, you know, essential oils and herbs you can take and look into that are anti-inflammatory, but again, like I said, you want to address the cause of the inflammation before trying to decrease. 
the inflammation. So unlike a lot of my videos, I'm not going to actually have a how to reverse arthritis section. I'm not going to give you techniques you can do right now on your own, although any of my techniques are going to be great for fascia release. So if you already kind of know what direction you need to go and use my techniques, that's awesome. But I, I'm going to hesitate to give personalized advice in this video because everybody's going to be a little bit different. Um, if you're looking for my personal opinion on your specific case, I do offer Skype sessions. We'll put a link um, in the video for that. Just in this video, I don't want to give you advice when I don't know your situation. So, um, it, you know, like with uh, my client who flew out here, the pain started shooting around. If you go to try to do this on your own and that happens, <laughs> I just, I don't know, I prefer to give you uh, guided advice based on your um, individual circumstance if I know all of the information and without it I don't want to provide a how-to just yet. If you want to read the full blog post accompanying this video you can click the link below and if you know anyone with arthritis who maybe wants a different perspective than the traditional um, model then please share this video and I would love to hear from you um, whether you have arthritis or you know someone with arthritis what do you think of this information do you think it's reversible um, let's have a conversation on this topic because I don't know that it's being had in this way yet